code signal, arcade, knapsack, light. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be going over code signals, knapsack, light. Let's begin. You found two items in a treasure chest. The first item weighs weight one and worth value one. Second item weighs weight two and is worth value two. And you want the maximum, total maximum value of the items to take with you, considering the max weight is represented by max W. All right, so it seems like a simple equation. Oh, and you can't bring more than two items, okay. And you can't bring more than one item of each type. And you can't take the two first items. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And here's an example. Um, you guys could freeze, screenshot this, and take a look at this. Um, but I already looked into this already. And to solve this one, there's some conditions you have to consider. Um, I wrote it out just to save some time. Um, so, like, for example, you want to consider if both of these weights, like, since we want to see if both of these weights combine, would they be equal then or less than the max weight? If so, by default, the maximum value is going to be equal to um, the maximum value is going to be equal to the value one plus value two because both weights can fit into that max weight. Um, but if those weights um, total are greater than the max weight, that means you could choose only one of the items. It could be weight one or weight two. In that case, there's several different sub-scenarios to consider. Um, both weights are equal or less than the max weight. If both of them are equal or less than the max weight, you want to choose the weight that has the most value. I think there's the example goes over that one. Let me take a look here. Yeah, see, so you can only carry one. Um, here, let me look at this one. Um, yes, you can take any of these items in this scenario. You can see that their weights combined will be greater than the maximum weight of six. You can see three plus four is seven, greater than six. But the values, um, you can, since you can take one of them, the one with the maximum value is the one we want to consider. Anyways, now there's a case that also when no weights are equal or less than the max weight. They're both greater than maximum weight. Like one weight can be one, or, I mean, one weight can be 10, other one can be 10, and the maximum weight can be one. That means it should be zero because none of them could be taken. So um, with that said, it's pretty straightforward. Let's just do it anyways. Um, if weight one, so weight two is equal or less than max weight. So let's just say there's equal or less than max weight. Then return value one, plus value two. Um, let's see, another case scenario, else if. I think I'll make it much more easier, else. And then we'll put those sub scenarios here. If both weights is less than or equal to the max weight. Oh wait, here. Let's just say both weights are um, are both greater than. Let's just start with that one. It's easier to uh, write down for a second. And two is greater than or equal to max weight. In that case, if they're both equal, then we return zero, since none of those cases can be greater than the max weight. I mean, since we can't take any value from any of these weights because they're greater than the max weight. So let's just delete the ones we already have. So they're equal less than we have this one. We have this scenario already. Now we just have these other two. Both weights are equal or less than the max weight. Well, one of the weights are equal or less than the max weight. Okay, so both weights are equal or less than the max weight. But since you add it together, it, it ha it, it's going to be greater. That means um, we can only choose the maximum value. So we could represent it like this. Let's see this one. Yep, there you go. We want to return the math, the maximum value of those values. So it's value one, value two, and there you go. Now, else, final scenario, if one of those weights are, only one of those weights are equal or less than the max weight, then we'll handle it with this else scenario. If weight one is less than or equal to max weight, then it's really going to be the value of that one value. But if it's not, that means the other weight must be um, less than or equal to that max weight. Because we know for sure that um, we already had these scenarios covered where one of them can be less than the max weight, or one of them can be, I'm sorry, if one of them can't, if all of them are less than the maximum weight, but only you can choose one, we already covered the scenario where the weight is. Holy cow, so many scenarios um, where the weight is 
where both weights are less than or equal to the maximum weight, and therefore we only choose one of them, or both weights are greater than the maximum weight, and we choose none of them. In this case, only one of them is less than the maximum weight, and therefore if it's not weight one, it must be weight two. Uh, let me think about this. Ah, I see now. We want to return um, this ternary statement that if it's not weight one, then it'll be weight two. All right, let's run this one and see what happens. Let me think about this. Oh, yeah, if it's greater than, they're, just, they're both just greater than that one. Let's return zero. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, it should just be greater. Um, there we go. Sweet, guys. I hope you like this. Please like and subscribe. And if you do, um, oh yeah, by the way, if there's any way I can provide content, of course, comment below. Uh, comment any questions you have below. Um, and if you do, I will give you Dora's backpack. In just in um, honoring this problem of nap sex, I think Dora's backpack is the right reward to give to you guys if you like and subscribe. It will be right in your doorstep, and you guys can have a sing-along, a musical, finding whatever you need. Just kidding. <laughs> Have a good day, guys.